All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Hall and I do tra travel and product review videos. So today we're doing kind of a product review, but it's more general, but we are gonna talk about travel and how it affects travel. So um, you are thinking about buying a fanny pack. I was also thinking about buying a fanny pack. Uh, I was a little nervous because, you know, there's, I don't know, the, the stigma that comes with it. Does it fit my style? I'm very much a backpack person, so I had all that stuff going around in my head. So I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you today. I'm gonna to give you five reasons why you should definitely get a fanny pack and you should travel with it. So uh, let's uh, roll the intro and we'll jump right into those five reasons. Okay, reason number one, there is a style and a size and a color for everyone. If you haven't actually started looking at fanny packs or, or really doing any research, and maybe this is very early on in your stage, well, thanks for checking me out. Um, but there are so many styles, so many types of fabric, so many colors, so many different sizes that you will find something that fits what you're looking for. Um, so that's great because the options are endless. Almost tons of different companies are making fanny packs now because they're kind of making a resurgence. So <clears throat> before you pick out what you want, the big thing I didn't realize was all the different the size differences you can get. Um, like this is like beside my head. This is pretty large fanny pack um, The reason I went with that size is because I determined the things that I wanted to uh, I got my notes here So I want to make sure I keep those up. I determined the things that I wanted to put in it So I would say before you go buy anything determine what you want to put inside of it and kind of make some ideas of how what size You're gonna need so, you know things for me were passports wallets any you know any essential or sensitive documentation for travel uh, wireless headphones that fit into the charging case, charging cords, potentially my external battery, sunglasses with their case, uh, lip balm, all of those essentials that I'm constantly either grabbing or getting out of would have been my backpack, I wanted to keep in there. So I got a larger size uh, fanny pack because those are the things that I wanted to carry on the front of me that was that was uh, they were always available. So the other things to think about is what kind of water protection. Mine's water uh, resistant, not waterproof because um, it has like a kind of a neoprene nylon um, material. And then the other thing is uh, if you want to over the shoulder or you only want to go around the waist, you have to think about the sling size and make sure the one that you end up looking at has both of those abilities if that's something that's important to you. So uh, reason number one, there is, a, there is a fanny pack out there for everyone uh, to fit your style or what you're looking for. So reason number two, convenience. Um, having everything at a moment's notice on the front of your body or over your shoulder the convenience for me was one of the main factors of the re reasons i wanted to go down this road of getting a fanny pack so um, the essentials are in a convenient location uh, you have potentially if you get one that's waterproof or water resistant you know those 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 things would also be protected uh, you know you're always reaching for headphones and cables and external chargers, earplugs, sunglasses, you know, lip balm, all that stuff, convenient. It's right there, you know where it is. You're not digging through pockets. Um, and then if you are a pack carrier, um, like I have been for so long, you all, I, I noticed, that, and this is kind of one of the reasons that I switched to a fanny pack is I always had the on-off scenario, right? You're on, you're taking it off, you're grabbing something, you're putting it back on. You're taking it off, you're putting it back on. You're taking it off, you're putting it back. I was doing that all day long when we were traveling because I was back and forth into pockets. That's super annoying. It's way more convenient on the front of your body and you can get your stuff very quickly. So convenience, number two. Number three, safety. Uh, and what I mean by safety is not so much your personal safety, but the, the, the safety, uh, the, the ability to keep all of your very sensitive information at a very, um, at a, uh, a place on your body that's on the front, it's as safe as it's gonna be. You know, it's not behind you. Backpacks sometimes have lumbar pockets so you can put sensitive info in, you know, so it's touching your back. But um, if they don't have that and you're putting your sensitive info to a pocket that faces the outside world, that's not exactly safe because some of those zippers, you know, you can unzip and take things out while you're in lines and you would never know. This is on the front of your body and you can always kind of watching it because it's the same way you're facing. So uh, traveling with personal documents can be super stressful this makes it way less stressful and I am pretty OCD about checking my stuff while I'm traveling make sure I know where it's at where where it is and it's still there so this uh, kind of calms that down for me so if you're that type of person where you're constantly checking worrying about your essential documents 
this makes it way easier for you. Um, uh, so a couple things to touch on this, uh, keep them close, safe to your body, obviously. They won't be in a pack or luggage that you may leave behind. So, you know, plenty of times when you're, we, we travel in large groups and you're having to run to get a drink or go to the restroom and you're like, hey, can you watch my stuff? Well, the great thing about having a fanny pack is I don't, I forget that it's on me a lot of the times because they are very comfortable and I'm always carrying my essential stuff. So even if I leave some luggage behind, I'm not leaving behind passports and wallets and things like that, that somebody may forget that they're supposed to watch, right? And they get up and move or they go and grab a running kid and then somebody's searching through your stuff or grabbing your stuff and all of your sensitive uh, documents were inside of that bag. So they're always on you. So that's really great. Um, so that is on safety. The one, two, three, four, four. We are on number four. Uh, I'm calling this the Goldilocks situation. So what I mean by that is I'm a daily backpack carrier. Um, and sometimes finding the right size for the situation, for the travel. You know, when, when I talk about travel, I'm not just referring to like getting on a plane um, and going somewhere. It could be a short trip, a day trip, like any of that, going to a picnic, going to a fair or whatever that looks like you know, sometimes finding the right size backpack isn't always the easiest. And then um, you kind of got to have a lot of different uh, backpacks in different styles, which I'm a huge backpack person, so I have a ton of them, but sometimes I just can't get the right size for what I'm looking for. And the fanny pack kind of fits an arena that I never had a solution for. I don't mind, I have a smaller kind of hiking backpack, but um, that's sometimes too large for what I'm looking for. And you know, you do get, you can get quite sweaty across your entire back when you're carrying a backpack, fanny pack, it, it, it's a, it's covering, you know, less of an area. So it's usually a little bit more, um, you, you forget that you have it, I would say a lot easier than you would even with a smaller backpack. So, um, it can, uh, the, the fanny pack can provide the coverage you need with less hassle. So, you know, having to have a ton of different, uh, backpacks, Goldilocks situation, which one's the best option and that fanny pack can fill that that smaller arena that you may not have a backpack for. So uh, that is number four. Number five, this is the money saver, right? So realize this on my last trip, didn't even think about this as owning a fanny pack and why it was such a great idea. But uh, everybody knows what when you're flying, when you're traveling right now, they pretty much make you pay for everything. So your carry-ons, your check bag, your personal items, like, you know, when you're, when you're buying a ticket, they start adding up all of these things uh, that go towards that ticket. So what people sometimes forget, and I didn't realize this myself, is you can keep, so when you're carrying a fanny pack, you can keep more personal items on you on the plane. Um, when you're carrying a fanny pack. So you can have your personal item and you can shove it under the seat in front of you. You can obviously have your carry-on that goes up above, um, which is great. And you can carry lots of personal items inside of a backpack or purse or whatever you're carrying as your personal item. But you're, you know, you still have to pull them out from underneath the seat. They can't be pulled out when uh, you're obviously taking off or when you're landing. So things like that, there's, there are instances where you can't get to some of your things. So with a fanny pack, you actually can have those personal items always available to you in your seat without the time periods of you can't grab your bag and you can't grab your bag, this bag's always on you. And you have it a extra personal carry-on on the plane that you don't have to pay for. Now, I don't know if this is gonna stay this way forever, but I was not, no one said anything to me on my last flight down to Mexico. I had a backpack, I had a carry-on, a hard case roller carry-on, and my fanny pack, which is considerably large, right? So it's, it's a larger fanny pack, which I can fit lots of very necessary things while I'm sitting in my plane seat um, right on my body. And it was on my person, my seatbelt went right underneath it. I just, you know, hiked it up a little bit. It was super comfortable. Sitting was not an issue. I had no problems with sitting for a three and a half hour flight with a fanny pack, but I always had my headphones, my charging cords, my external battery, my phone, sunglasses, all my passports, and my wallet all inside of this fanny pack on me at all times. Other key thing, and if, if you've ever had to fly in the very first seat, 
there's nowhere to shove your personal item under the seat in front of you. So if you've never flown a uh, very first row on a plane, you have to put all of your stuff up above you because you obviously have nowhere to put it in front of you. This is an issue if you have all of the stuff that you want to use while you're on the plane in your personal item because you will not, you have to either take it all out before you take off and put it in your seat or in that little pocket in front of you or you, and I don't like doing that because I'm always afraid of leaving something behind. Um, so I want it on me and I want it in pockets and organized. Uh, that's just the type of person I am. So um, with your fanny pack on you, your stuff can go up above you, but you can keep your essentials in your fanny pack on your body. So you don't have to keep getting up and going and getting stuff. So if you don't take everything out of your backpack and let's say you put it up above and you sit down, let's say you're, you're in the window seat and you're flying by yourself and two strangers telling getting up and asking them to move and go grab your stuff is a little you know it's frustrating for them and it's also frustrating for you and then what if you forget something right so if you have it pre-planned where you have everything in your fanny pack that you're going to need while you're in your seat you don't have to do that and you don't have to disturb anyone or you don't even have to disturb yourself because you have everything in on your person so and you get a free extra personal carry-on that they don't ask you about and you don't have to pay for. So if you get one of reasonable size that you can fit a decent amount of stuff in, like I get it, it's not an absolutely huge ordeal, but it is a major convenience for being able to carry more stuff and not have to put it in another bag and you can carry this on your person and you don't have to get up and get out and get it from the overhead or pull it out from under the seat. If you, if you don't have a seat in front of you, it's always on you and flying in the first seat um, is not an issue anymore if you have a fanny bag that carries all your stuff. So. Those are my five reasons. Hopefully that was helpful. I know I didn't think of all of these when I was researching the fanny pack I wanted, um, but remember before you buy, think about the things that you want to put in it and then get a size that's appropriate to fit most of that stuff. So um, that was my phone vibrating, sorry. I think that's all of the, uh, if you have any questions, you know, I, it doesn't, I'm not promoting mountain hardware specifically because I didn't really care. I was just looking for a size and a color that I liked. Um, and I, I did appreciate that the material was water resistant in the sense of a specific brand. I don't, I think it's wide open. Um, they're not that difficult to make. Just find a company that you believe in. Like I believe in Mountain Hardware. They make quality things that usually don't break. So I went that direction. Um, so there's plenty of choices, like I said, in the first tip or the first reason why. So go find one you love. Go go find something that fits your style. And then uh, let me know in the comments if you found uh, different ways that the fanny pack benefited you on your next travel. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments, as always, leave them down below. I answer every single comment to every one of my videos because I appreciate when the creators uh, answer my questions when I ask on their videos. So uh, we will leave it there and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.